on Wednesday, July 23rd, I woke up feeling under the weather. And then my life took an unexpected turn as I was diagnosed with Ebola virus disease. As I lay in my bed in Liberia for the following nine days, getting sicker and weaker each day, I prayed that God would help me be faithful even in my illness. And I prayed that in my life or in my death that he would be glorified. I did not know then, but have learned since, that there were thousands, maybe even millions of people around the world praying for me throughout that week and even still today. And I've heard story after story of how this situation has impacted the lives of individuals around the globe, both among my friends and family and also among complete strangers. I cannot thank you enough for your prayers and your support. But what I can tell you is that I serve a faithful God who answers prayers. Through the care of the Samaritan's Purse and SIM missionary team in Liberia, the use of an experimental drug, and the expertise and resources of the healthcare team at Emory University Hospital, God saved my life. A direct answer to thousands and thousands of prayers. I am incredibly thankful to all of those who were involved in my care from the first day of my illness all the way up to today, the day of my release from Emory. If I tried to thank everyone, I would undoubtedly forget many. But I would be remiss if I did not say thank you to a few. I want to thank Samaritan's Purse, who has taken care of me and my family as though we were their own family. Thank you to the Samaritan's Purse and SIM Liberia community. You cared for me and ministered to me during the most difficult experience of my life. And you did so with the love and mercy of Jesus Christ. Thank you to Emory University Hospital and especially to the medical staff in the isolation unit. You treated me with expertise, yet with such tenderness and compassion. For the last three weeks, you have been my friends and my family. And so many of you have ministered to me not only physically, but also spiritually, which has been an important part of my recovery. I will not forget you and all that you have done for me. And thank you to my family, my friends, my church family, and all who lifted me up in prayer, asking for my healing and recovery. Please do not stop praying for the people of Liberia and West Africa and for a quick end to this Ebola epidemic. My dear friend Nancy Wrightbull, upon her release from the hospital, wanted me to share her gratitude for all of the prayers on her behalf. As she walked out of her isolation room, all she could say was, to God be the glory. Nancy and David are now spending some much needed time together. Thank you for your support throughout this whole ordeal. My family and I will now be going away for a period of time to reconnect, decompress, and to continue to recover physically and emotionally. After I have recovered a little more and regained some of my strength, we will look forward to sharing more of our story. But for now, we need some time together after more than a month apart. We appreciate having the opportunity to spend some time in private before talking to some of you who have expressed an interest in hearing more of our journey. Thank you for granting us that. Again, before we slip out, I want to express my deep and sincere gratitude to Samaritan's Purse, SIM, Emory, and all of the people involved in my treatment and care. Above all, I am forever thankful to God for sparing my life. And I'm glad for any attention my sickness has attracted to the plight of West Africa in the midst of this epidemic. Please continue to pray for Liberia and the people of West Africa and encourage those in positions of leadership and influence to do everything possible to bring this Ebola outbreak to an end. Thank you. <laughs>